Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use peopleperhour.com. Now whenever you sign up to a new website, sometimes it can be, you know, very confusing and hard to navigate or you may be used to Upwork or Fiverr and then you've sort of got that layout and template in your mind. So the very first thing you want to do is come up to where it says freelancer. You want to click on that and that will allow you to register as a freelancer. I would say do it with your email because if you do it with your Facebook, you know, then that's sort of your personal Facebook. I wouldn't recommend that. And also imagine your Facebook got taken down so it is safer and better to sign up with your email. Once you have signed up, it will say you are almost ready to start selling. Then you have a form that you have to fill out. Now for your uploading profile photo, make sure it's one that is taken on your phone or on your webcam. Make sure it has no edits or no text on because they can be a bit suspicious, especially when reviewing your application. Here you want to put your job title, so that could be graphic design, website design, or writing and translation. It could be any genre. Make sure to use the 15 skills. And then in your about section, this is where you want to let the buyer know who you are. So let them know how you can help them, your skills and your experience. This is where you can put your town or city, your languages, and your hourly rate. And the great thing is you can do it in USD, GBP or Euro. Once you have submitted your application, it should take a day or less to get a reply from them. And they may just ask you to upload like a portfolio just to prove that you have done the work. So once you have been approved, this is the dashboard that you will see. To create a gig or as they call it an offer, you want to go to where it says post offer and this will allow you to have a fixed price offer, so like a gig on Fiverr or a project on Upwork. And this is where you put your title and your price, and they allow you to do $10, so your minimum um, £10, sorry, and $15. And this is where you can say the day and the category, lots of categories to choose from, and then you'll get your subcategory. Here is your tags. Make sure the tags are what people are searching. I would recommend a video and also a photo as well. So definitely a photo and a video. This is where you want to describe your offer. So this is where you let people know what you're doing. Try and do it as like a list and in bullet points because I found whenever you do one paragraph or a big paragraph and chunky text, they seem to not approve your gig and you'll get an email saying, we can't approve your offer. However, if you break it down into simple terms, it will um, get approved. And then here is your shorter description. So you've got like a longer description and you have got the shorter description. So more detail and then the shorter description. And you can also upsell your gigs with any extras. So just click on this little orange here and this will actually give more. You can change the price here. You can change the days over here. And for your whole project now, whatever you do, you can deliver it quicker and that's where you can charge more if you're going to be able to get it back to them in a quicker time. You can either do it on site, but you won't be needing to do that. So you just want to keep where it says remotely. And this is basically gig requirements. So where it says, what do you need from the buyer to get started? That could be login details for website, or it could be like um, a link, or it could even be Say if it was like video promotion, you would need the YouTube link and the YouTube URL. Then you want to click the little tick here. You may receive an email that says this. And this is probably because you haven't been specific enough and you haven't let them know exactly what you're going to be doing. So as I said, do it in bullet points and let people know what they're going to get and also what you are selling on people per hour. Com. So once you have got your gigs approved, you want to go to where it says profile and then next to your portfolio, it will say offers and then that's where you can see your approved gigs. Now below this, we have got reviews. So that's any reviews 
people give you after ordering your offers. The purchases is for your buyer side, so your buyer account if you have bought any people's gigs. And then the endorsement is literally someone endorsing you and it's a simple email. So you can email the link to them, they can click on the link and then they can endorse you. It's a good way if you're beginning and you haven't got any reviews. I really like this feature. Now where it says portfolio, I would recommend filling it up. Honestly, if you want to get that first client, you want to make sure they can trust you and they can see that you know what you're doing. So you can put photos in here, you can put PDFs. Now let's go across to the dashboard. So how does the dashboard work? What's on the dashboard? So at the top here, it will say proposal credits. That's how many credits you have to send a proposal. So to send a job offer to that buyer and to try and get them as a buyer and to try and get them as your client, they will give you five, uh, 15 per month. So you can get 15 credits per month for free. However, you can get more, but you have to pay. So this is the way people per hour make money. So we've got five for 595 and then let's see here. So the price sort of doesn't go up too much, doesn't like double, so that's their marketing. So they've got 50 for 19 95 but it's not like um, every five it doesn't go up five they sort of do this four three and then we've got this 19 one here so let's go back now and then down here this will be where your current jobs are so anything you're working on and this is your sent proposal so no reply yet but these are the proposals that you will have sent out down here is your profile how many people are looking at your profile and also your earnings are here under billing promote your offers so this is where you can actually feature your offers again you have to pay for this however if you want to try and get those first sales you can feature it so let's see here boost offer sales for seven days for 12.95 so that's something you could do that's actually um yeah that's a reasonable price you know seven days 12.95 and a lot of advertising so that's a fair price Let's go back now to the dashboard. So this is really important. This is your cert level. So this is a bit like your Fiverr level, you know, level one seller, level two seller, top rated seller. So the way you get this is by really good reviews. So building up your reviews and also earning as well. Probably earning is the key thing. If you're earning for them, they're going to promote you higher. It's always the balance of great reviews and earning these sites are very happy and then will boost you. So it is called a cert level. Here we go. Community, engagement, repeat usage and trust. Okay, let's go now to the most important part. Um, I would have a little look down here. So you've got commission free. So let's say you have a website and you're working with people. You can actually invite them to people per hour and then they can work with you and pay no fee, 0% commission, so they can sign up through that link. That's a good way of getting your frequent buyers to come to people per hour, and you can give them that as an incentive. You could say, oh, currently you're charged this much, however, if you come to people per hour, it will be 0% commission, only through that link though. So let's go to the important part now, which is search for jobs, searching for work. So search offers to buy now, we don't want to do that. Search freelancers, we don't want to do that. We want to get some work. So search projects to quote on. Now when you click on that, this will be a general job posting. This is all the postings. And then you want to go to where it says latest or sort by, and then you want to click latest. And this will show you the most recent jobs. So if you've got um, experience in these, you can go for these, but you might want to put in your genre or your speciality. So let's put in YouTube. And now this will show 52 projects for YouTube. We want to make sure it's recent and then it will show you the recent projects. So when it was posted, is it remote or do you have to go to like a location? How many proposals have been sent? And now I would say, don't go for the hourly ones, go for the fixed price because at least you know what you're going to be getting and there's not going to be 
any confusion or someone saying do more work and then it causes trouble. So I say go for the fixed price ones. So let's say you were to click on one of these proposals, it would open up like this and this would allow you to see who the actual person is and how much you're going to get. And then if we go down here, it will actually show information about them. This person is new, so it doesn't. It would show, me, show you how many people they've worked with and how many projects have been completed. So that would let you know they're a good buyer and they actually accept and complete projects so you can get paid. Okay, how do you write a good proposal? You want to have a look at the title. That's the main thing they're looking for. Then you want to see down here what they're looking for as well. So I would go down and write, hello, Michael. So you've personalized it now to that person. Then you want to say, hope you're well. So you're showing that you're, you know, you're human, you care. It's not just about money. It's not just about a sale. You're literally saying, hope you're well, or you could say, how are you? And then you want to let them know that you would be happy to work on their project. And this is where you want to put those keywords in straight away. So you're letting them know you're happy and then you're letting them know that you've read their title, Facebook and Google Ads campaigns, which is up here. Then you want to give your experience. So why should they work with you? Here we go, you've got experience. The next thing you want to say is something like this. So I know what works and what doesn't. Or you could say, I understand analytics. I understand campaigns deeply. Let them know you've got real knowledge and you are confident. You want to show that you are confident. Then you can also say, I will leave linked a file and that's where you want to upload your portfolio. So it could be a general portfolio or it could be screenshots where you have helped businesses grow with Google AdSense, I'm sorry, Google Ads or AdWords. And then the next thing you want to do is say this here. So you put a little um, sort of psychology. If we work together, so it's almost leading to, you might be working together or maybe we'll work together. If we do work together, I can get started right away. So they know you can start right away. People love to hear that. And I've also put a little exclamation mark on the end there. And then I have said, kind regards, Cormac. So always give your name. People can easily spot a generic uh, response. And if someone sees a response that's generic, they won't work with you because they know you're just trying to get money. So how do you actually send a proposal? What you want to do is you want to take this uh, title and then you want to put it in this box down here and then we want to look at what they are charging so we've got five hundred dollars and it will tell me what that is in gbp so it'll always tell you your local currency but down here if you notice they've actually put it in dollars so you would want to look at the dollar amount and then you would want to type this in here so we've got five hundred dollars five hundred dollars deposit five hundred dollars as well and then you would go down here and you would click send proposal now this would just send a proposal you can do another thing which is called send and feature and the sending and feature is actually something that you have to pay for and what it will do is it will show your proposal at the top of the page so the buyer will see your proposal first and it will also have like a little ribbon on a little button like um, it will say verified now featured so they will think you're a lot better and that's a very good way of winning a project now you'll notice down here it says clarification board this is where you can actually ask a question to that person so I would say ask a question first and then submit your proposal so now that person knows your name and your names in the head because not many people are asking questions yes they're sending proposals but not many people are asking questions so you'll be the only one there and your name will be the only one down there and also it shows that you are interested you're not just uh, sending a proposal and leaving you're literally showing interest and you're caring and showing that you want to help that person okay let's go now back to the invite and earn so this section here is called invite and earn now this is where you want to get people to come two people per hour and the great thing is people per hour will give that person 30 pound 
so they can spend that thirty pound. It's really clever marketing. Yes, the um, site are giving you thirty pound, but they're going to get that thirty pound back because the person you invite will very likely spend that thirty pound. So that's a good way. And then if we just go back to where it says settings, you want to make sure that you have your own URL. So where it says personal URL, that's where you can put your username, email change, password change here, account active, and then down here where it says proposal credit, this is where you can buy more, and that's where you can buy more. Now another interesting point is, let's say you're gig is being reviewed so let's say you've got an offer that is being reviewed very annoying I don't know if it's a coding issue it doesn't show you that it's being reviewed so basically it's like it's disappeared so let's say you've made a gig it's being reviewed how do you edit it how do you change it you can't from this page so you have to actually go to another section that doesn't really relate so you want to go to the dashboard where it says features where is it now I'm actually lost now it's down here promote your offers you have to go to where it says promote your offers then you have to click feature your offers and in here it will show you your two active listings and it will show you this one here that needs editing I don't understand why this isn't on the page that actually relates to offers anyway this is where you can click edit and now you can edit your offer and sort out any issues so all of your offers whether they are active or need editing will actually be showing up over here and then up in the top here we've got your notifications we've got the message section so that's all of the proposals you sent and then you've got notifications you may see this from time to time this is where people per hour are trying to match you as the right person you can click on that and then if it matches your expertise you can send a proposal so I think that is the main you know um, review of the site so you've got freelancer activity payments is another one that's your you know earnings it will tell you everything here how much you've spent how much you're waiting on so work other than doing for me so that's your spending that's if you're buying gigs this is your available money so that's where you're going to draw out your money and freelancer escrow is the money you are waiting on the thing I really like is if you earn £250 or less, then it's 20%. I don't like that. The next thing I like is if you earn £250 or £5,000, so anywhere between that, more than £250, the rate goes down to 7.5%, which is really good. If you earn over £5,000, it will only be 3.5%. So you're going to be taking home so much more money than Fiverr.com and Upwork.com. Fiverr, they just keep it at 20%, but these will go down to 3.5%. Then you've also got um, paying any invoices and also an earnings calculator. So let's just put in here 100, let's put in 100 pound, and then we click enter, let's click enter, enter here. Oh, we have to click the little calculator. So you put in the number, then you click the calculator, the coding for enter isn't working so you have to actually click on this here that's okay and then what it will tell you is how much they're going to take in the fees so I think that's really nice right so I actually do finally think that is everything if I have missed something do let me know in the comments below this was a really needed video because there is no video on YouTube that actually gives you a full review of people per hour so I'm hoping people find this video and I hope it was useful. And before you go, why not check out this video down here or if you've got a little bit more time, check out the playlist up here. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hmm, I wonder who is still on the end screen.